Welcome to this tutorial on how to upload uh, your songs on the Uvera platform. Okay, so let's get started with this. So after you have received your login details via our email address, all you have to do is come to suit.uvera.com or uh, from our website you can get here too and then you will put in the username that you were given and the password you were given or even your email address either of them is going to recognize it after that click continue now when you click on continue it's going to bring you to the dashboard let's wait for it to get there uh, yes okay it's bringing you to the dashboard so once you get to the dashboard note the menu on the uh, left hand side and then scroll down to labels uh, label an artist and click on labels now when you click on it it's going to open where you can create your new label you have to create a label for you to do anything on the platform now notice i've already created a label here i will just open it for you to see uh, what i filled inside there so you just uh, uh, fill in the name of your label or your artist name, your email address, and as much information as you can fill. Uh, after that, you can just click the create or submit button, the add green button there. You just click, uh, click on it. Uh, this is uh, where you can create a new label from this point after that you go to under that label also and create artist so you know a label has to be under uh an artist has to be under a label forgive me so that is what this is all about so you click on artist and it you can create a new artist there so if you see i've already created an artist there but that's what you should click to create a new artist now all you have to do is just fill in the basic information about the artist the artist name the contact address the first name last name gender telephone as much information as you can give much more uh, very importantly the picture of the artist and the biography of the artist so i'm going to try to fill in some information that i have i didn't feel the first time i did this so the artist's name is perry martins uh, that happens to be my name so i'll fill it fill it right that's it there and then uh, the email address and then you know choose whether you are male or female or you are something else put your biography if you have to just as much information you have you can also put the address of the artist and then also put uh, other informations and then you click uh, the green button after that the next thing you have to create is the release so uh so this is the, the the main thing you are looking for which is how to you know distribute your music so you click on new release and it will open a page for you uh on this page you will see the upload cover art area where you should upload a 3000 by 3000 pixels cover art that has just the name of the artist and the name of the song this is the normal standard for itunes and other platforms so please take note after that uh put in your label name there put in your cat number now notice that there are um, informations under each of the, the those rows those boxes to tell you what exactly you should put there so the cat number is a unique number that you use to identify each release from within um, your label dashboard so we'll just put a, a random number but it has to be a number that you know right so you put an uh, a figure uh, an alphabet and a number it's an alphanumeric place then you put the title of uh, your uh, content then you select uh, um, every other information that is out there including the version if there's a different version if you have a upc code you can put it inside there um then go down and if you have any of those things you can select digital if you want it to be in cds you can select that um, you select your genre of music afro pop uh, afro beats uh, gospel christian whatever you select it all there then um put your image if you have if you if you have not put it on the other side put the image then select all these other ones fill up the form as much as you can uh, and then click the create release button so once you click the click the create release button it's going to show like this so the picture you uploaded will show on the left hand side and all the information you put would also show uh, as accordingly so notice that i used g um, g uh g um g e o o one and i think that's what i wrote there g e o o one as the cat number and then nobody is in the title of the song so you fill in the informations as much as you can very important it has to be accurate though 
after filling the information, the next thing you would want to do is actually to upload your song. So after filling it, you save um, the, the draft. After saving it, you go to tracks on that tracks. That is where you are going to be able to upload the song. So, but before you do that, you have to create the album, the track first. So if you see, I've already created this track for Nobody Can. Um, I've already created it, but uh, I'll also create another one for another song that is that is step into the light. So I'll just type the title of the song there. After that, I will scroll down. If it if if this is a new mix, you can put it there. If you're featuring anybody, you can put it. If um, any other information that is needed, if there are more than one artist, you can put there. Uh, then ignore the the start time and uh, all the other timing because it will pick it up by itself. Now, uh, the track price, this is a very important place you have to pay attention to. You have to decide how much you are selling your song. So you put it there. If you have an IRC code, put it. If you don't have it, no, don't just leave it empty. The, the platform will generate one for you. Then fill in the publisher uh, right, fill in the publisher, fill in as much of the information as possible uh, that you know. You know, always put the name of the lyrics, the ly lyricist or the person that wrote the song. It's very important. Uh, you cannot submit a release if you don't put that. So after that, select country. You can choose anywhere: Canada, Nigeria, the United States, Cambodia, anything. Um, then after that, put your 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 P line and your C line and P line. And then, of course, create your release. So after you have done that, it's going to appear like this. I did a little mistake here. I created, uh, I clicked more than once. So it just um, added uh, about three more of the same track. So we'll have to remove them or delete them. Uh, but before we do that, let us quickly upload the song. The, the Nobody can let's upload it. So we click on it and then we select the file so, you know select the file from within my system and then once we click on it we'll select the file within the system and it will upload it from within the system so let's do that wait for it to upload zero percent wait for it one percent um wait for it two percent let's try and rush it up a little bit forty percent 41 percent and then uh 100 percent we're uploaded so we're uploaded now the next thing we're going to do is to try and remove some of the um the mistakes we made and what we're going to do is to remove the multiple duplicate tracks that we created so we just delete tracks uh delete the tracks that we uh, replicated we replicated the track two about three times so deleting the second one let's delete the third one okay so now that we've deleted it then let's add the, the track to let's upload it as we just did the track one okay that is done so the next thing we'll do is um, we'll go back to release We'll click on release to go back to the release page. So when we get there, we we'll make sure that everything is right. Everything is looking good. Uh, just go through to make sure there are no typos and all. After that, go down and click save and make final. Now, save and make final is where it's supposed to take you to the send to stop page. But we have a little error. Uh, it looks like our bundle price is not right. It's not corresponding with the track price the bundle price is what you're selling the two songs that we uploaded or if it's an album you know the album so we set it um right after setting it we we'll make sure that uh, it corresponds with that of the track price after that we we'll go and save and make final again so once we do that it will bring us to the store page where you see all the stores uh, the songs are going to then we scroll down and we click send to stores. So once you click this, the music is sent to the stores. And uh, on your release date, they are going to be available on these stores. So we just wait for it to um, finish sending. Uh, wait for it to finish sending. Okay, it has sent. So once it sends, uh, if you come back to your dashboard, you're going to see that it's a green line under your release to show that it has been sent to the stores.